Hello! So this is a video about the Guardian FSD booster. So this is the device gonna help you increase your jump range by a significant amount. So I'm talking about these kind of device, the Guardian Frameshift Drive Boosters. So I'm gonna show you step by step guide how to for yourself to unlock the, this device and be able to buy it. So, the first thing you need is a ship. A ship that can jump, uh, that jump at pretty decent range. So, for that, I do suggest you to have uh, the Diamondback Explorer. There is a reason why that ships in, uh, specifically. I mean, you can get another like ship, like a medium ship, like the XP Explorer, the Anaconda. But I'm taking this ship not because of money, because it's a small ship, and, the, and uh, to get uh, to unlock uh, the device or, or after, we need to go to our guardian who our guardian ruin side that is kind of far away, and uh, well, that's why you need a, a good jump ship because you want to reach that place, uh, you know, sooner than later, and when you get there. Uh, it's like an uh, uneven terrain mountain place. So the smaller you sh their ship, the easier it's going to be to land closer. So that's why I recommend that ship. And also it's pretty cheap and it's a very good jumper. So for the ship, well, I don't plan for combat. I actually go there and solo play. So no weapon uh, for the corn kernel. I just have the minimal power plant I need. Uh, Truster as well to collect truster with little engineering, but you can just take whatever you want. Uh, of course, if you can get uh, the best frame shift drive with engineering, it's gonna increase your jump range pretty good. So my jump range with that ship right now is very decent. And of course, uh, the thing you want to equip to make your ship as light as possible and still functional. So, in the optional internal, what I'm using to go there, well, it's a bit ironic, but I'm going to show you how to get the card and FSD booster going there with it, with it equipped, so, well, I'm going to get there faster, so. Well, of course, you want your full scoop. Well, a shield generator is never a bad thing when you try to land on planet. And I suggest you to bring also uh, some cargo. I mean some cargo rack, at least minimum of a capacity. Well, you, you can equip multiple rack, but in the end, try to have a not try have a capacity of at least eight. There's a reason for that, and I'll explain it in a real fast. Uh, and also, the more the more important, go there with SRV bay. If you don't have an SRV, then you. you you won't accomplish anything because you need to land and go on this RV. Well, I have a surface scanner here just for the fun of it. So before you decide to head there, I would suggest uh, you to check uh, in your inventory and material. I'm going to go to the material. Focus crystal here. So this kind of material, it's not cargo. You don't need a cargo space to store them. In, you're gonna, in the end of everything, to get the device, you're gonna need to have at least 24 focus crystal. So I do suggest before you start following this guy that before you pro provide yourself those 24 focus crystal. And it's just a suggestion. So. If you don't know how to get them, well, you can get them actually everywhere. Like, if you do combat, you can get them uh, from the destroy ship or even mission. And the worst case scenario, you can go to the material trader and just trade any kind of stuff you want for those focus crystals. So it should be in the end pretty easy to get. Okay, so before looking at the map, uh, on that planet where, where they're gonna do a little mini game that's gonna ultimately get you a blueprint for having the device and also we're gonna need a few other material and 
also uh, remember the eight cargo space we're gonna need to buy something at a station but we're gonna do that at the end and for the other material we can get all of them on the planet we're going so let's talk more about those material and cargo for later <clears throat> and now i'm gonna call the galaxy map uh, and that's gonna be the system we're going hd63154 is kind of far and also i'm gonna have the system into uh, the description the description of the video so for now i'm gonna show you the planet it should be tree b a right there actually tree uh, b tree a so you see here this planet this is where we need to go so i'm plotting my route here so you see right there hd63154 planet b 3a so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start adding there and when i'm getting close to the planet um well i'm gonna resume the video so for now i'm gonna do you a little time skip so for you it's gonna take a few seconds and for me quite more well let's see first how much jump well 60 jump actually you see you get a decent ship and it's very manageable so time for the time jump all right so now we're back and we're pretty close to B3A. So before I'm going on the planet, I'm just going to look in the navigation tab. And when you get close enough, you're going to see garden structure. So you can lock that in destination. So now you know you're in the right place. So let's get there. I'm still going to show you something. I'm going to take a screenshot of the site overhead and then I'm going to do a little explanation of what we're going to be actually doing and mark some location. You're going to see. So first, let's get uh, onto the planet. So the work we're about to do is technically pretty simple. Getting the blueprint is simple, but the other material can be a bit grindy. So, but everything is very doable, so we should be all fine. Oh, it's on the light side. That's pretty good. Last time I came, it was on the dark side, and that was uh, annoying to see. So let's have a good approach here. That should be a perfect approach. Yep, it's look good. Speed is pretty good. I'm not gonna crash. I mean, <laughs> miss my uh, gliding. Better to go a bit slower and not miss your gliding and just like, you know, doing it. Uh, the limit of uh, the gliding minimum speed which i'm not actually sure what it is but you know doesn't matter much we're not there for that anyway so as you i was talking to you about the terrain is very uneven and you cannot directly directly land inside the garden structure site so it's going to be around it and medium ship is doable but small ship is the easiest way around there we go i'm gonna get just over the site i 
I'm not gonna land yet, just to show you something. Actually, there's somebody here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna land and we're gonna switch into solo. For some reason I'm not in solo mode. So let's ignore what's going on. So I'm just gonna stop right here. I'm gonna take a screenshot when the fighting is, is done. There we go. So let's have a look at that picture. All right. So here's the screenshot I was talking to you about, and I did some markers. So six blue marker and one green marker. So before I explain that, we're gonna land. I'm gonna show you everything in the process. So this is just like a visual guide to help you know the location of everything we need. So the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna land there and we might encounter a few drones. They're gonna be guardian drones. And uh, well, we're gonna need to kill them because they're gonna attack you. They're not really hard to kill. They're kind of resistant, but the only annoying thing is there's a little gravity and sometimes they're gonna throw missiles at you. So other than that, we're gonna kill them if we encounter any. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna rover a bit around the terrain. And until we find a tower that's gonna pop out of the ground and go up. It's gonna have a huge blue crystal at the top. We're gonna shoot it down and we're gonna take the blue crystal inside uh, our SRV cargo. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. I'm gonna show it to you, it's gonna be pretty easy. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up to the green circle where everything starts and everything's going to end also. Have you noticed next to the green circle, there's two other blue circle. So there's going to be a power pylon that's going to get off the ground. And what we're going to do is we're going to shoot like a little, a little crystal on it that's going to power them up. So on each one, we're gonna power them up. So it's very possible when we power crystal up, there's gonna be more drill spawning. So we just have to kill them and should take a while, but should be very easy. So when those two pillars are powered up, we need to go at the location of the other four blue markers. And it's gonna be the same thing, there's gonna be pylon coming off the ground, we're going to power them up, we're going to do each four of them. So in the total, we're going to have six pylon to be powered up. So when all the pylon are up, we're going to go back all the way up to the green circle. And now the machine is going to be active. So what we're going to do is we're going to be uh, going very close to the machine at the green circle and we're gonna jettison away the ancient relic which is the blue crystal we picked up in the beginning so let's do all that let's switch back to the game okay here we are I, I've landed right next to the side the closest possible I could and with the small ship it's very doable okay so let's deploy as I told you uh, with the explanation when I was showing the screenshot before we go on the top of the machine we need to find that big blue ancient relic so that should be pretty easy. So yeah, if you take a big ship, it's going to take you forever to like land and get and get close to it. Oh, there is one of the drone I talked to you about. So I suggest you go in turret mode and just shoot it down. And you see they're pretty easy, they're shooting you down a bit, but your shield should hold pretty good. And they drop material. Oh, 
Okay. So, these to material they drop here, we don't need them. But, uh, one thing it didn't tell you yet is we're gonna need some material. But, those material are available all in this side. But for now, let's focus on uh, getting the blueprint, the little mini game thingy. Oh, you're, something is coming off the ground somewhere. Oh, right there, you see that? That's the thing I was talking to you about the blue crystal. It's a pillar with a blue crystal, so let's shoot it there. The ancient relic. Opening the cargo scoop and let's roll over it. Well, I need to target it first. There we go. So now let's go up there. Remember the green circle? Oops. I run out I run out of juice. Yo, yeah, that's fun when that happened. There we go. <laughs> so I'm gonna put more power to engine now and not do that again. So we need to go up there. <laughs> nice and slow. Yeah, don't rush it, just go a little slow. So remember, this is where the green circle was. The machine. And as I told you, the pillar next to it are gonna go up. And behind me, there are drones. They are kind of far away, but I'm gonna just try to kill them if possible. There we go. He's behind a pillar. I'm gonna move a little bit. That's a missile I was talking to you about. So two of them is a bit more annoying, but nothing is not doable. Oh, there we go. Just a bit annoying, but... We're gonna kill them. This one is the most visible, so... Yeah, the knocking down the missile, that's what I was talking to you about. You can recover pretty easily. One left. See my shoulder holding pretty good. There we go. They're dead, finally. Let's go back. Uh, we're going to do a full stop right here. And the blue crystal, you see as I'm shooting it, the thing is getting powered up. Parlon charge. There's a timer, five minutes is plenty, so I'm gonna charge the other one. It's done. All right. Let's get down here. Maybe you try to get down here in a better way. Let's add to the pylon location. It should be around here. 
a bit further actually. Right here actually. Yeah. If you look, the machine is over there, and it's about where I showed you on my, uh, you know, on my screenshot. Yeah, sometimes you need to have a pretty good uh, angle at it because it's pretty small shooting place. That should be better angle. There we go. So there was another one here in the area. We need to go into, I think it was that direction. No, it was not. <laughs> oh, it was more over there here. Should be around this location. Well, I'm hearing something popping out right next to me. Let's power it up. Power it up. More power to weapons going to help. Come on. There we go. I was shooting it not straight, but... Alright, so let's get to the other pylon. So if I go east from here, I should come across it fairly soon. Yep, I should come across it right over there. It should be pretty close to this location. I think it's right there actually. Nope. Oh, where? Yep, right there. And I need to go on the other side to power it up. Oh, behind me. Guardian Sentinel. At least when they're closer to you than like that, I don't think they're gonna sh throw at you much, a lot of missile. Right there, pretty easy. Well, I should go back actually in turret mode. Power. You see, I have eight minutes left, so that's no problem. Powered up. So let's get the debris here. Working component, I don't need that. No, I don't need anything to drop. I'm going to explain you in detail after anyway. Okay, so let's go to the last pylon. It should be around this location. Did I hear it? Oh, actually, it was right there. So, so you see, if you use the map to help you, I mean the map, the little screenshot I gave you, it's nothing too hard to do. More power to weapon. All activated. And there is many guardian now. Let's scale them up. Yeah, they take a while, but they're not too dangerous. There's one or two over there. Well, let's kill that one first. Oh, he's hiding. Great. Uh, 
Oh, missile. No. At least we got it. Let's wait a drop. Wreckage component. Nope, we don't need all, any of that. Oh, that one is targeting me. Uh, where is he? Oh, right there. Yeah, I might need to get closer to it. Oh yeah, they're annoying as I told you, but, uh, you know. My shield should be holding pretty good. Tuk, 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 tuk. Finally. Oops. I didn't mean to take that, but. Do I need power conduit? No, I don't. Perfect. The last one is right here. You need to die so we can complete this. Let my weapon reload a bit. There we go, he's dead. All right, so let's get up there now. Let's go back to the machine. All right, so we just need to be close enough. You know, on that design here on the ground, I'm just gonna go right on it. Okay, so. Oops. Panel, inventory, guardian relic, we're gonna jettison you. And voila, the machine is activating. And there you go. And now I'm doing a scan on it. And Shindata Terminal is available to scan. And there you go. Collected encoded Guardian Module Blueprint Fragment. And of course, there's more of these things. Before we go, we have some more stuff to do around here. So we have the main thing. And now, first, let's kill this guardian. All right, there, there's one other behind me. Gonna get closer to it. Uh, okay. Die. Finally. So before we leave in this area, we'll need to find some material. So you need 21 Guardian Power Cell and also 21 Guardian Technology Component. So you can get, I think, the Power Cell sometime by killing the drones. But uh, if I go look here, 
there's gonna be panel all around you can destroy. You see, I just destroyed that panel and there's a power cell. So it dropped in a very annoying place. So, so they're pretty much it. And you see right there, there's another panel I can drop here. And they're gonna show you a bit on your map also. You see it's showing my map. So, oh, Guardian Technology Component. That's the two items we need. So I'm gonna just pick them up, pick this one up. So you see, I got Technology Component. So let's look at how many I have. I think when you take one, it's not like you're taking only one, you take a few one. So Guardian, I have 63 Guardian Power Cell and nine Technology Component. So you need to have 21. All right, so I'm not gonna get all these things because I did it before I don't need them anymore. But before you leave and follow the guide, I, su I suggest you, well, I don't suggest you, you need those parts, so get those part. So we're almost ready to go get the, uh, the Guardian FSD booster. So, I'm, I'm going to go back to my ship and I'm going to explain to you what the next step you need to do. So let's do a little time skip here. Alright, so next step. So now I'm back to my ship and I assume that you did get all the 21 Guardian Power Cell and all the 21 Guardian Technology Component. So by the way, if you're running off uh, material, like no more panels to destroy and you still need more, you can just log out, go back to private or switch and switch back to solo mode. And uh, it's gonna respawn the instance. As well, it's gonna respawn the drones, but uh, at least you don't need to do everything again. So next step is before you go actually by the thing you need one more equipment remember i did ask you to get a cargo bay of eight ton of cargo so now we're going to need eight uh, hn shock mount so to find these these are commodity sold the station so the easiest way to do i, I suggest you to go to inara.cz as you see the address up there, e n a r a dot c z. So on there, you go to the Galaxy tab, Commodities, and I'm starting to write my keyboard the name. You can again just scroll down, but as you see here, H N Shock Mount. And if you want, you can like put a system because I'm gonna put that system. Say C F. Uh, because that's the main system where I hang around so if the area you want to be after it's done that's a good point to start from here so uh, from this my, my main system sees yet the closest one is right here so I have a small ship a small station so I'm just gonna go to the Latonarkaya system at the Rose Hub. So I'm gonna go there, go to the commodity section, and just buy into my cargo all the actual H H N shot mount. So you need to go there and take that. So after we have that, let's already see our next destination. Because now we have everything, we just need a place to actually get the device. So we're gonna go, so we're already onto the Galaxy tab up there. So we're gonna go into the system and station and let's go to the nearest. All right, again, I'm gonna take my main system. Doesn't matter which system, it's just to help your search. This is my own system, as I told you, so. Okay, so let's click now technology broker here. Technology broker here on the filter. Pretty good. 
So yeah, you don't need to do research. Again, you do the search first and then technology broker. So in the star system here, well, no, never mind. You see the broker type? We need garden technology. So the place is going to interest me is right there. The LTT1798 at the Gilliland ring. So first we go pick up the the shock uh, the H the 8H and shock mount and then I'm going to now add to that system. So I'm not going to show you uh, the buying of the HN mount. I'm just going to go straight up to the Guardian broker. So well, your search will end up differently, most likely, but here where it's gonna go. I'm gonna go. So, assuming you have everything and you're gonna pick up the last commodity, the HN shock mount, we can finally go to the broker. So, more time to skip, and I'm gonna be at that station right there in that system. All right, here we are, the final destination. So for you guys, uh, we want to unlock it, uh, contact technology broker. So here's going to be all the unlockable item that you have not yet unlocked. So as you notice real fast, for me, the Guardian uh, FSD booster is not available. That's because it's already unlocked. So you just you'll just have to click it and you'll be able to unlock it. Assuming, of course, you have all the material, including the blueprint, the 21 Guardian technology component, component, and the 21 Guardian power cell, cell, including the 8HN shock mount. So when the device is unlocked, it's pretty simple. And not fitting. Uh, you can go to optional internal, let's say the class 4 here, browse, and the booster <coughs> is available. You can only use one so at a time, so that's why the red right now. So yeah, keep in mind that I think you can, you can only buy them with a station that have the technology broker, but I'm not sure about that, but I think it is. Because I don't remember seeing that FSD booster icon that often here. So that's it. I hope uh, this guide uh, was very helpful to you. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. So thanks for watching. See you next time.